What is a function? A function is a relation in which each element of the domain is associated with only one element of the range. And it's a bit of a head scratcher, isn't it? Let's change some of these words and then look at functions a little differently. What if we say a function is a relation in which each input is associated with only one output? Then we can think of a function like a machine, where we put something into the machine and we get something out of the machine. We can do that as many times as we want to see if we notice a pattern in what's going on inside the machine. And once we've done this enough so that we see what some of our input-output pairs are, we can organize them in a table. So in this case, an input of cat gave us an output of C, an input of key gave us an output of K, and an input of tie gave us an output of T. Hmm, it looks to me like the output is a letter that corresponds to the first letter of each input word. But the question is, is this really a function? Well, in this case, yes, it is. Each input is matched up with only one output. The input of cat only has an output of C. The input key only has an output of K. And the input tie only has an output of T. Let's look at a different machine. In this case, an input of cat has an output of C, an input of cat has an output of C, and an input of cat has an output of T. Hmm, is that a function? Well, the input of cat did give us an output of C the first two times. But the third time, the input of cat gave us an output of T. So we've got a little confusion here. What output really corresponds to an input of cat? Since there's some confusion and the input of cat gives us different outputs, this one's not a function. Okay, let's try a different machine. An input of cat gives an output of C. An input of key gives an output of K. And an input of cup gives us an output of C. Hmm, is this a function? Well, let's see. Input of cat, output of C. Input of key, output of K. But cup also gave us an output of C. So is that a function or not? To be a function, every input has to have only one output. And that is the case here. Cat only gave us an output of C, nothing else. And cup only gave us an output of C, nothing else. So even though we have two different inputs that gave us the same output, this is a function. So you see, the definition really isn't that difficult as long as you remember that a function is like a machine in which there's no disagreement about what the output is for any given input. But maybe you'd like to see what this looks like with numbers. Okay, it's really the same thing. Think about this machine. An input of 2 gives an output of 6. An input of 3 gives an output of 9. And an input of 4 gives an output of 12. We still have input-output pairs, and we can still look at the relationship between those to determine if we have a function. So what do you think? Is this one a function? Yep, you're right. It is a function because there was no disagreement about what the output should be for any given input. 
You may have even noticed a pattern. The output seems to be three times whatever the input is. That's the sort of relations that are going to be really interesting to look at when we represent functions different ways. Whether we use words and letters for our inputs and outputs, or we use numbers for our inputs and our outputs, the definition of a function stays the same.